chorus effect has gotten a pretty bad rap, but maybe rightfully so. It went a little crazy there. Guys went bonkers there. You know, something like this, an old TC chorus pedal, can do some pretty cool modern stuff. If you have a whole bunch of tracks that are starting to sound the same, uh, this is a worthy effect to look into. Yeah. It got out of hand a bit in the 80s there with the, the gigantically wide stuff uh, on everything. Uh, used tastefully, I think that's uh, super amazing, and I love that sound. Um, but there's all this in-between stuff, too, especially like if you hit the front of the amp. Um, you've got, like, that clapped anything. <laughs> Makes the, the notes really big and warbly and kind of uh, uh, there and not there at the same time. So, I mean, you could that's with the, the speed high. You could slow the speed way down and then you're back into a little more of the. Uh... Almost flangey, sort of. And that's on the front of the amp. So I've got a clean sound up here. Put some. All right, so I'll lay down a sort of clean rhythm part. A little faster setting on the pedal going into the front of the amp. All right, and then there's a train wreck at the end, but whatever. All right, so now I'm popped into the effects loop of the Mini Dirty Shirley. So the effect is more prominent. Um, it's getting sort of a, a, a cleaner path. If you're going into the front of the amp, all the chorus is distorting and getting compacted and mushed together on the front end. Uh, so it, it creates a cool uh, swirly mush, which can be really uh, cool, I think. Um, if you want a cleaner version, that's where the effects loop takes uh, takes over. So I'll do another rhythm pass in the effects loop. <laughs> 